today. If you notice, our children are here with bags. While they're getting ready, why don't we bring the bags to your parents? I know that some of you have bags you're anxious, you're holding, you want to get those to parents <laughs> or other adults. Yes, um, Chrissy, do we have extra bags for other people as well? Can we just hand them out now while they're getting ready? Is that okay? Can we just hand them out now while they're getting ready? I think that, that we have a little setup time here going. So, were there some other ones you were going to hand out? Yeah, so find your parents if you're here, and you can hand them their bag. That way they have, because it's really hard to, it's really wiggly to hold on to those bags and just like be patient with them, right? So we have, we have gift bags also for other fathers who are here today as well. So if you're a father and you don't have your children with you presently, we have stuff on the way out the door. So if you're a dad here today, we have a gift for you. Make sure you grab your gift bag on the way out. We also have um, gifts for those that kids are here. They, they made stuff during kids' own worship. So with that in mind, we'll start with our baptism. As parents, I'm a little loud here. I'll turn it down. There we go. As parents and as sponsors, do you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Put your whole trust in his grace, which is open to persons of all ages, nations, and races. Please respond, we do. We do. And do you promise to raise this child in the Christian faith? Please respond, we will. We will. For those of you that are new to our church, you may not realize we put together three kinds of water here as a reminder that the truth... You can help with the water. That would be awesome. <laughs> this one with the little nipple on it isn't mine, so that's yours. Okay, Darla, why don't you take the water? We're going to squirt it in the bowl. One of the waters we use is um, from water from your house, right, Darla? You brought this, didn't you? There you go. Pour it all in. There you, it's fine. We got lots of water space. There we go. Thank you, Darla. We also put in holy water from the River Jordan. Yeah, and that's a reminder, Darla, so that... Jesus was baptized in the River Jordan. So it reminds us that Jesus is a part of this as well. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah. And then we also have water from the church because the church is going to make a pledge to help raise. They just, we did this for you when you were little. Did you know that? Raising the faith. Yeah. So we're going to pour it. I'm going to do something called a blessing where I'm going to bless all the water and then we're going to put it. Would you like to help as well? Okay, come here. We're going to let it out right, here. Pastor Dub's going to pour it and you're going to help. Ready? Grab the handle. Here we go. Let's do this together. This water is a reminder that way back in the time of creation, God created the world. He separated the water from the land and said it is good. Likewise, during the time of Noah, he used water in a flood to use it as a symbol of cleansing of all righteousness. Yeah. And then he used water again during the time of Moses and he parted the Red Sea. Yeah, isn't that cool? And they walked right through the water. And then likewise, you know what he did water for? Yeah, you want to see it, Sigmar? Okay. <laughs> and then likewise, in the time of Joshua, he went into this place called the Promised Land, and there was a river, and he walked right through the river on dry land to get into the Promised Land. Yeah. And now we're going to use the same water. We're going to pray over it and then use it again, okay? All right. Holy and loving God, bless this spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, this water this day. Maybe that tangible reminder of your love your grace, your redemption. Pray for this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right, we've got questions for the family. Oh, nope, just gonna, you did the questions. I did the questions. My question is, can I have her? Oh, what name? Yes, there you we go. do. What name what do you, name give, this you give this child this day? <laughs> Annalise Irene. All right, okay, good. She's sleeping, so I hate to do this. Annalise Irene Krause, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit. May God bless you today. And she's back asleep. So we have a tradition in the Crossroads family. I'm going to hand Annalise over to our children's director, Chrissy. And she's going to bring her out into the congregation to one of our congregational members. And you must bring her back. <laughs> no keeping. Right? No keeping. Bring her back. What we're symbolizing here is that as a body of believers, we are all committing to raising Annalise in the faith. So. And so as she brings her back, um, we can please stand. We're going to share in our response together. 
And the lights can come up if you'd like. That way you can see we're handing the baby off too. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's respond together. With God's, God's help, help, we will we so will order our lives after the example, example of, of Christ, Christ that this, that child, this child, surrounded, surrounded by, by steadfast love, may be established in the faith and confirmed and strengthened in the way that leads to life eternal. Let's now welcome the newest member in the body of Christ. Good job, big sister. Please remain standing at this time, and we're going to share in our closing song after our blessing. As we go forth this day, may we go forth remembering that God is with us in all we do. As we go forth this day, we remember to discover our shape so we can use it to glorify.